All right, sorry about that. I'll take a quick uh, bathroom break. Let's continue. Stop. I don't care. So we, we get rid of him. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. The tension was too much for Clearly, me. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative. Oh, Jesus, really. no. He should be the judge. No, 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 no. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's Noah. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get rid of him. Not this one. Oh, God! I did it. Oh, shit. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. I'm still human. I'm not in my wolf form, so I will not kill him. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. I do not believe in, um, in the death sentence, actually. I do believe in prison in life. If you don't remember what, <laughs> but I do not believe in the death penalty. I think, uh, no matter how shitty of a pill you are, actually saying that you want somebody to die. Even though, obviously, you know, if somebody would, like, kill my family members or something, you know, I would rip them to shreds as well, and blah, 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 but just the average statement of saying that somebody deserves to die is something that I really don't agree with, but, hey, that's what we have video games for, to shoot everybody. Hello. Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? Uh, I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Are Great. people going to the farm? What? So he's obviously a frog. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Okay. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. Random. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Good morning, Miss White. God, I love I love Lee's voice. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Poor little Colin. How about that money that I said I would give to Toad? Oh, Gowan! Jesus! 
Why is everybody moving? What? Is that? No, that's not what I wanted. Five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Why? Oh, I don't understand you. what's it's going on right now. Busy around here. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away? Yeah, I don't, I'm... You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Is it your weevil? If you could bring it to her, she was nice. What is it? I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's mm. a big one. They're cool, because <laughs> when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. That's real nice. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm so silent. I'm not a comfort man. <laughs> Sorry, little toad. Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh... Must have run off. Bullshit. Not very convincing lie, huh? Saying goodbye. Hey, what up? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help you. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Alright. Okay? Sure, I'm sorry. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. All right, bring it. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. I if he found out, I, I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Ooh. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? You're the one that told I them or something. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. <laughs> yes. Yes, you did. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night, at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. 
He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Wow, what? You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not it's always fucked. For anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I've been making a lot of mistakes lately. But you've also done a lot of good. Don't forget that. You've changed this place. Look at those the heels, by the way. Worse. Sex it. Fable Town wouldn't be mm. the same without you. All right. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, I knew that was going to come up. Same line of faith. I yep. have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait, what? I have this this tingling spider oh, sense! Man. Wait, what? What? What, 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 what? Hold on, what? Okay, hold on. What did you do with Dorji? Three okay and killed. Did you give the Kukuman a trial? Yes, we did. How did you punish? 47, okay. In prison. Did you accept? Wow, you could have refused it? Jesus.
What is that? What, what were your last... What? Okay. You beat him while he was down. You impressed her with your detective. You fought him after the interrogation. You offered him protection. You helped him to avoid the farm. You imprisoned him. You confiscated the, these money. Killed him. Killed Georgie. Gren is ripped his arm off. Drank. Okay. Holly. Mm hmm. Lars is dead. Nerissa is. I try to take the ribbon. My bad. I always try to take a ribbon off. It's, it's my thing. It's my kinky thing. You stood up for him when snow. Yeah, okay. So I don't know. Um. The, the, that last final moment obviously says something that there's more to it. Um, I mean, fuck, I don't know. Like, she lied, obviously, over that she did not actually hear the crooked man say something. I don't know what, what, it, what it means if she is actually all behind this. That might be a little bit too much. I don't know, I, I think there is also... But I think that is thinking too much of it um, about in the Little Mermaid story there's like a witch that marries the guy that the Little Mermaid is in love with in the end so maybe this is the witch or something so, but that's probably too weird of a thought but the last sort of sentence was that <coughs> he um Big B was saying like I felt like we met before but he said that against Faith. Yeah. I don't know what that means, though. I gotta look some, uh, some stuff up on the internet of, of what it means. <coughs> But there's there's probably there's probably gonna be a season two or maybe a DLC where that choice still still has an impact. I don't know. I'm very curious to what it does. I need to look it back all the the, the those last few sentences that Big B is thinking about to kind of puzzle the pieces together. See the connection between the Little Mermaid and Faith. Those sentences that they said. I'm gonna check the fables. For le oh, hello. Oh, snap. Okay, never mind then. Okay. Pick up that graphic novel, boys. Hold on. So, wait. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that was it. Um, it was an amazing experience. I loved it. Uh, it felt fresh. It's also because The Walking Dead uh, season two. I've been playing that every time that you know it comes out. So. It's, it's annoying to have to wait for, for you know several months for another episode. Here I could just plunge in, get everything together. Story was great. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily that I think this is better than The Walking Dead. I think th those two are also very different in terms of setting. Uh, Gameplay-wise, obviously, they are very, very much the same. Um, again, though, still, and this is also something that I had critiqued The Walking Dead for a little bit, is that... Though it says that you have a lot of choice, you really don't. Um, you know, no matter what choice you did or you choose, the story is going to play out just like they want it to. The, the most that might change is maybe um, <coughs> that a sentence is being said differently. 
with the exception of some of the places where you could like um we had a choice where you go to building a or building b and which one to do first the situation would be a slightly different but still you would get to the exact same point again after that scenario ended but all in all just a great experience i loved it um it was it was a very original concept um telltale they're they know what they're doing so I'm happy also that this team now has completed this, so now that they can focus on the Game of Thrones game that they're gonna make. I'm not that much excited for the Borderlands game, to be honest. I'm gonna play it probably, but it's just, it's such a weird game or world to pick to make this story-driven game, because even though Borderlands 2 was a little bit more story-driven, Borderlands 1 was horrible in terms of story. Very boring. But anyway guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.